Alright, welcome back to our second episode of Architectural Adventures. Uh, much like our first episode, we want to do something that was the first for us as a group. And so we're going to take you to our first out-of-state video. And you may be asking where are we at? We're actually in Cheyenne, Wyoming, in the historic depot of the Union Pacific Station. Uh, it's got a lot of old buildings, but this one in particular is what we're going to go take a look at. Built in, or construction started in 1887 because Union Pacific really wanted to give a uh, really statement building. Now, why are we here? What can you do here? There is a museum on the history of the railroad as well as a viewing platform that you can go watch the trains. Let's go check it out. Uh, so we are in the museum now, picture of Lincoln, which will pay off at the end of this video, you'll see some more. But obviously the Transcontinental Railroad was a big part of our history. That's really why we're here. Here's that Pacific, goes right through Wyoming where we're at right now. some of their surveying equipment. That's pretty cool. I like their setup here, huh? Got actual dirt and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just come around right here. Here's some of the equipment numbers. Yeah, see, so that's what we'd see today. All high tech. Right. Oh, look at these kids. Oh, oh, oh. what is that? Is that oh, oh, that is a pair. I might just have to show you that some other time, right? It's pretty cool though. It's got a lot of old equipment that they found. Look at this tree rock. So, here's some construction photos as you can see. So if you're ever in Denver, the old Union Station actually used to look like this. Until it caught fire and burned down, now we have what we got. But ours used to have a big old tower like that. Look at that, an old little caboose. Don't see those anymore. Right here you got some equipment, obviously clothing and stuff. It's a clothing and conductor. Oh, Look at this guys. Yes. And that job uh, consisted of calling the passenger freight train crews. A lot of times. Oh, man, hold the phone. Look at that. And she said there was a second floor? Yeah, an elevator. I didn't know there was a second floor. We'll find, oh, look, cooks. Okay. 
A lot of work goes into that. <laughs> Obviously, it shows how all this is created. Uh, coming out of there, the boilers into the hot air and comes down, the air comes out. Yeah. <laughs> We go some very fine looking chinaware. Now with this it reminds me a lot of the plates you'd see in like Titanic exhibits and stuff, just really high class, nice looking. And it better be you guys are on the tracks for a long time. Paying a lot of money back then. Andrew pointed out that the background is the big boy. Look at that. That's pretty neat. It's kind of cool there. Have all these like right there. You got a modern one. Right here you got the old big boy. See, almost, uh, it's kind of weird to think, but when you look at this, you're looking at ghosts in a way. Right. Just little bits and pieces. So when we say we're ghost hunting, it's not just for actual ghosts. It's for, like, really cool historical pictures and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, there is actually a second floor, if I can get the glare away, which I didn't go to the last time, so this is... Me and Andrew's first time going to the second floor. Pretty neat. Right here, you got some old railroad lamps and stuff, which I know my brother would like, so I'm definitely going to get some video of that. Look at that. And these are massive. Like, there's Andrew. You can see him right underneath them. They're, I don't think people realize how big these are. Like, traffic lights are massive, too. We're going to go this way. See all the old craftsmanship in the stone. Oh, look, there's another fly. It's red. Yep, railroad crossing signal. I know about those. Here we get laid by the Board of Trade, 1889. Do you or stairs? I think we take the stairs. It's like the running thing with our videos so far. Luckily, we're not going up 52 sets of stairs again. <laughs> Maybe next oh, year. Nice looking stairs. Pretty modern. Got lots of... Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this is all like the graffiti and stuff they find on the covers. Interesting. I guess there's a viewing platform up here. That's interesting. Nice little seating area. You can watch the trains come and go. Oh, there's a, a tower up there. There's Andrew. Yeah, so we're now on the second floor. Andrew pointed out this. It's really cool. Up here is really cool. It's a giant model railroad. And next time we're at the Science and Industry, I'll have to take a video of that in Chicago because they got one there. 
We just love like all the detail and stuff they put into this. Gregory Street. Yes, yeah, so all these are modeled off of actual places. <laughs> these tracks actually look like they're functional tracks. Mm -hmm. Looks like a big boy right there. It totally is. Union Pacific 3 active steam locomotive headquarter at the railroad heritage operation here in Cheyenne. Yeah, so this one says Georgetown, which is kind of, if you've ever been, you know they got that Georgetown loop you can go on. So maybe sometime we'll take you up there, show you what it's like. I think me and Andrew are just really amazed by all the hard work that has gone into these. Like to make the dirt look different and water look real. It's the painting and all that. It's really, really top notch. Here's another view, a little bit better of the loop. Taking some time out of their day, play some baseball. Got a pretty sizable crowd. <laughs> there it goes Union Pacific. It's not going 80 miles an hour, but it's, it's also got. Huh. Pretty neat. I found the cabin. That's great. Man, you can. Shaking the whole building. Oh, look, there's a big boy. This is how they weighed all their freight and stuff, as you can see. Oh. Cooks as light. Little ticket window.
here's a trolley. Mm -hmm. We ain't in San Francisco. I'm so used to seeing it in Cast Rock anymore. <laughs> So the building behind us that was built in 1887 actually used sandstone blocks that was quarried out of Fort Collins, Colorado, which is cool for us because honestly our group's from Colorado. Um, it was dedicated to the city in 1993, and that's why obviously the museum's there. You can see there is a uh, beer company, a brewing company right out of there. It's not open right now because of obviously the pandemic conditions. But something kind of neat was it was built to face the Capitol building, which Let's go take a look. All right, so like I said, we come to the front entrance of this building. We look right parallel to mirror it. It's a Wyoming State Capitol building. So now we're at uh, two doors down. Cooks, what'd you get? Okay. I feel like tea stick. Oh. Looks pretty good. It's delicious. Not enough cheese, but okay. it's delicious. We'll check back in and see how it tasted. I got bacon cheeseburger. It's a fun little place. How was your sandwich? The sandwich was fantastic. Definitely needed a little more cheese, but it was delicious. I definitely recommend it. So we've made it to the state capital portion. We just want to show you kind of the uh, parallel it has. So we'll go to the front of it once we can cross. It's really, really cool. We'll have to come back up on a Friday when it's open for tours. I'll give you guys another little architectural adventure if you want. Andrew, we promised them a couple little extra things, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So, what's our first little extra nugget on this architectural adventure video? So, right now we're in Wyoming, checking out the mighty big boy. And it is massive. It is, it is massive. Yeah, I'll back up so we can kind of... I don't know if I can back up far enough, but that, yep. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely massive. It's the world's largest steam locomotive. They're giant. Just look at the gears on them. This thing had to have been so freaking loud. Yeah. 
Well, I know during Frontier Days, which they're not having this year because of the pandemic and everything, but they have one that runs. We'll have to come back up and see it in action. Here's kind of a good shot. You can see how long it is. It's absolutely massive. It's 132 feet long. Weighs about 1.2 million. This is absolutely massive. What'd you say it was? Cooks almost a quarter of a million or over a quarter of a million? Yeah, it was a quarter of a million. Jeez. It's one. 265,000. Yeah, see. So just to make sure we get all our facts right, they put this neat little sign here. And as you can see, yes, it's 1.2 million pounds, $265,000. You can see they have the platform and the railing so you can hold on if you had to come up here and, you know, watch the light or anything. Make sure the tracks were cleared. Yes, there's a lot of cottonwoods, so you're going to see a lot of stuff flying in the air. It is not orbs. It's <laughs> These are not cotton. orbs. Just cotton. It's a fun little park, though, and just to see one of these massive locomotives we thought would be cool to show you guys. And we will put all the addresses and everything in the link below. The little descriptions that way if you guys ever want to come travel see it for yourself and it was by the Union Pacific is why this one was made kind of ties in the whole theme of our episode today Man, can you imagine being that high up with this much power behind oh, you? Oh man, it'd be fun. That would be fun. I definitely want to come up here for Frontier Days and just see one in action. I know one came down to Denver. Maybe I'll put some pictures of that in here. Good idea. Uh, but just to see this going, is, it's amazing. Amazing some of the ingenuity we get to see on our travels. and. So these have some cylinders that are about 24 inches by 32 inches, just massive. Andrew was talking about the top speed. Andrew, what's the top speed of this? 80 miles per hour. 80 dude. miles. Like I couldn't imagine how long it would take to stop this thing. That's and insane. The power behind it, 7,000 horsepower, it said. Man. Yeah. 7,000. Just something this big going 80 is just kind of crazy to think about like look at look at all those those are it's probably hard to tell for you guys behind the camera but in person like giant makes you feel small it does it's almost like being in front of a skyscraper again yeah so just some more quick information right here you can see that it was in service up until October 31st of 58 and was moved here 63. 80 miles I don't know why I'm hour, still man. hung up on that. It's, just, it's really massive. You guys, if you're ever up in Cheyenne, definitely come check this one out. It's really neat. You can also see, not far from the big boy, is this memorial.
So we're on to our second little treat of our expedition. We're at the Ames Monument. It's pretty cool. It's a pyramid out in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, right here, as you can see. There is National Park over there, but it's pretty cool. Try to get a video so you can see the size of it. Possibly dedicated Ames himself up there the very top. It is like a pyramid shaped structure that was built from 1880 to 1882 using like most good pyramids the height and width of it are the same so it's 60 by 60 feet. So definitely not the Great Pyramid of Giza but for some a lot of people might not know about it's pretty neat. And that's where they would have put all the blasting caps to get these out of the walls and so just a cool little stop. Maybe we'll come back up a little bit more history and do a actual episode on it. If you guys want, let us know in the comments below. So we said we had one more little treat for you. And as you can see, another little Abraham Lincoln. It's because we're at the monument for the Lincoln Highway. And they actually got this giant Abraham Lincoln statue in the middle of Wyoming. It's kind of neat. Come down. Again, the statues in this monument's massive. Like, Andrew, go stand over there. There you go. Gives a little example. Quite neat. Anyway, that was our little trip up to Wyoming from Colorado. We thought it'd be neat to come up here because like the Transcontinental Railroad connected, so did the Lincoln Highway. And Lincoln played a pretty big part in a lot of the things we saw today, so thought we'd come up and see this monument. Alright, if you want to see more architectural adventures, click the link right here. If you want to see more from Cools Paranormal, click the link here. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.